talk to me truck drivers it's hayden with big rig tees back with another video today we had the honor of interviewing this man he's got a beautiful mullet he is on a mission and he brought some sweet old big rigs to the mid-america trucking show 2024 with that being said let's jump into the video Hey, I'm Greg Kendall with Kendall Trucks and Parts out of Orleans, Indiana. We've been up there selling trucks for about 40 years, and I was a trucker myself at one point. When it comes to trucking culture, what, what's your opinion on the way it's faded out or people trying to keep it alive, or, you know, how are you involved in that? Well, there's absolutely, you know, a new generation of, of the trucking, like the slam front ends and suicide doors. And, and I'm of a certain age, I'm 59 years old, but I like the classic stuff, and I like the classic look. And, and according to the people, they like the classic look. But it's a 1982K100 double bunk cab over with a 400A model cat with a 15 speed overdrive transmission on eight bag air ride with 355 rears. And, and we made it 240 wheelbase. We think it looks really good. And uh, you know, we did all this in house in our own shop. We did all the work besides Darren Beans, one of the best painters in the country, and he did the paint work for us. We're antique original, best of class, and uh, we're also antique original uh, uh, first place in paint. So what's some of the stuff that goes into being antique original and uh, what does that mean to you? Era correct Okay. would, would be the best way to put it and, and, and making the truck as good as it was then. Oh wow, okay. And trying to bring it, you know, kind of up to speed and, and the pipes and the paint and the bumper and just making it look like it should have looked then. You know, trucking was a lot different 40, 50 years ago and you said you've been in the industry for how long? Well, we've been up there 40 years. 40 years, so mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, truck driving then and the whole industry then versus now, it's just like any other job you have or any other industry like farming or anything else. It comes and it goes. Yeah. But uh, it's what you know, it's what you do. Is there a way to get people to respect truckers more? If people don't understand that you know they wouldn't have what they have if it wasn't for truck drivers. Well, I think it's important to come out and see this kind of thing and yeah. watch everybody gather and see the culture. And uh, you know, you can see the individual in the truck. Yeah. So it's very important for, for just the lay person to come out and be a part of this and see what's going on in the industry and and again these trucks are personalities so when you see one you can almost bet what the guy looks like or who he is yeah absolutely it is it is just a really cool and neat deal this is a 1969 extended hood what we call little window peterbilt okay so they actually look chop top and they're not they were actually built this way but again we've we've taken this truck up, up to the future with the 60 inch walk-in unibuilt sleeper with a later style four and a quarter B model engine and an 18 speed transmission with 342 rears on low leaf suspension. We're very proud of this old truck. It's the cool of the cool. We actually got the truck finished and you stand back and take a look at it. That's how it garnered the outlaw name. I'm very, very proud of this truck. A lot of work went into this and again, we did this in our shop. And again, Darren Bean did the paint work on the truck. What does your day to day look like? Well, we buy and sell. We're, we've been in the industry a long time and we're known for cowboy trucks. Big uh, pavement pounders. That's the business I enjoy being in. This is my 2000 starting from the back to the front and it has a really unique story. We actually ordered this truck in October of 1999 and my salesman held the order up and he said, hey look, we ordered a 3406E 600 cap. Mm -hmm. And he said, hey, let's hold this order up. They're going to build a new engine and you're going to want it. I said, okay. So. In, about two weeks he calls back and he says hey we can get that engine it's a c16 600 and there it is so i actually drove to nashville in early january and watched them build this truck it took six hours they built 27 trucks that day and i drove the truck home well i have a landall trailer that we buy and sell and i would haul trucks with and i used it very sparingly and life took me over i got so busy i couldn't drag around and buy and sell with my truck and trailer anymore so i got in my pickup truck and we just put it away and it is a pristine piece of equipment with 87,000 actual miles on the truck. So do you haul them here or you drove it here? We drove it here, but we're only about 50 miles away. I wouldn't be against using it or being a trucker with it again. Right. But we ordered every button switch you could get at that time. And then again, the C16, I think they only built for three years. We're equally as proud of this truck. This is an 87 359 extended hood Peterbilt. That's one of the numbered classic trucks that were built in 87. Wow. So this is one of the 359 numbered trucks that were built in 87, the last of the 359s. Awesome. This truck is number 71. Wow. And we've taken an all-frame motor out and completely redid the truck 
and built it back to according to the build sheet. Mm -hmm. There's only a couple of things. The panel lights didn't come on at factory, but most dealers installed them before the guys left. And we did the swing, swing plate bracket and the lights under the bumper. But besides that, that's the newest 87 359 you'll ever see. Wow. And we can walk you over and show you this. Okay. We're very proud of the number truck and they're, 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 they're getting very scarce. Yeah, it's, um, uh, let's see, when we were in Joplin, uh, Michael Manuel, I think he has number 59. Right. Yeah, the white one, I don't know if you've seen it. Absolutely, that. I have. Yeah, that's, that's a gorgeous truck and, and, uh, and, and I'm kind of a student of the Peterbilt culture and, and these trucks. I've owned several of them over the years. I owned number three at one point that I had a long time that resides in Texas full, full time now with Ken Pilgrim. So if you ever go to the meat counter and you want to buy Pilgrim's Pride, he has classic number three. It's a vision and, and do it to your vision. And uh, I think you'll find people will levitate to your vision. All right. But it's your truck, it's your bat and ball, make it yours. Would you say that it's worth it or do you have any pieces of advice to step into the trucking industry? Oh, it's today? absolutely worth it. And again, look around you, the culture. And if you don't know what the culture is, you need to come to one of these and, and actually check it out and see what people are doing with these these pieces of art truck drivers make sure to subscribe for more and leave a like on the video if you want to check out our t-shirts go to bigrigtees.com and find a truck stop location near you